You get it? You guys did there? That was bad. No, slowly. My pleasure is to meet. Party. Look at it. That looks crazy. You're charging the center of your piece? Yeah. It already looks glowy on the camera. I know. I spray painted this, y'all. It looks like this. <clears throat> I did a dark, a super dark blue. That's uh, an ink blue, a light blue, and then a really light blue. Hey, y'all. So I did this on accident. I did, Diane. On a, okay, hold up on the questions for a second, y'all. Yeah, time out on questions. Because when I'm explaining something and she's answering questions, people tend to get a little moody. Um, I did this accidentally on a piece of cardboard that I was, I was spray painting. Uh, what was I spray painting? I think it was coaster backs. So there was all kinds of color down on this piece of cardboard. And then I wanted to spray paint this glass black and silver. So I put it on there, spray painted all the glass, like I'd spread it all out, and I spray painted, took it off, and it made this amazing pattern. So then I tried it on a canvas. Where's that canvas at? It should be right here. I guess you took it away. Yeah. Um, I did it on a canvas. Well, was right here. <laughs> Did he paint on it? Who? You. Um, and this is what it looks like. This part. But I used black and silver, so that's why it's very, it's very faint. And then I just took a piece of, then I took uh, a silver paint pen and just drew on it just to see what it would look like. So I thought, why not do that? Why not actually make a background to this, like this? So I did a fade. So what I'm going to do is put this glass, cover it, but leave, sp leave spaces open so that the spray paint can go through it. Oh man, it was awesome. Uh, Marilyn Manson was was a lot better than he was the last time that we had seen him. Um, Rob Zombie puts on an amazing show. Like I posted today, like you can tell that Marilyn or that Rob Zombie loves his job still. Like he's such a showman. Um, I told. Uh, I told Erica today that I, it's like he goes to other people's concerts, like possibly like a rap concert or a uh, you know a country concert, and he gets he gets ideas, or maybe he comes up with them on their own. I don't know from how people interact with the concerts, and and he just he makes it fun. And Laura he's, Taylor wants to know if Rob Zombie also does horror movies. Yes, he does. He's a horror movie uh, crazy person. He did The Devil's Rejects. Alright, so I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to cover the whole thing, but I definitely want, I want to cover it, but like I said, you want to leave some spaces for the black to get in there. I think that would be cool. I think it would be cool like this. So, now, you take your trusty black, Rust-Oleum, just regular old Rust-Oleum. Um, spray it in the trash, get you, so it's not like just the... the it's not buttery. Yeah, you can see straight black 
and just kind of, you're not going to just get devour it because you'll move it. So what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of lightly just spray it, just mist it over it. You can see where you've painted. I don't know how this is going to turn out because I haven't done this with black yet. I did. I had a little vent fan that I made from Home Depot. We need a stronger one. We do. I want to. I want to eventually get one to where it's overhead. Of the hood. All right. So now what you're going to want to do is just let it set <laughs> because you don't want you don't want that wet paint on the glass to get underneath. So we can just get the heat gun. Yeah. Get the heat gun, and Rust-Oleum dries pretty fast, so just be patient with it. And now you guys can answer questions. <laughs> wow, you can't even see it, that's crazy. Anybody have any good in No. Hunter, Evanescence next week. I thought you wanted to go to LLC again. It's Ice Cube and that's oh. tomorrow. Yeah. And I didn't, that's I just cool. asked you. I asked you. I didn't say I was going. Hi, Barbara. Barbara is a new subscriber. Hello, she, Barbara. Um, she was visiting her friend up in New York, Minnesota. They called today. Ah. Yeah, it's about silicone, right? Okay. I'm sorry, Lori. Is it dry? If so, that was really quick. I think I think it is dry um, because it's flat. Everything's flat, so. And this paint is flat, flat black. So now what I'm going to do, I'm excited. Watch. How about I'll just take off just like a little bit. Look at that. Can you see that one little opening? It almost looks like it's glowing. Oh my gosh. Speaking of glowing. That's going to be so cool. I'm going to show you all some of the pieces from last night. Ready? No. Okay. I'll show them the pieces later. Yesterday's. They're on overhead. Tony is going to Texas the end of October, so like Halloween. Oh, that looks really fun. It definitely looks glowy. Look how fun that is. And now you have an awesome face painting. Man, look how fun that is. That's bananas. If you let if you let your eyes look at it, it looks like you're underneath some like black moss looking up through water. Everybody's like, have a good feeling about this one. What's he doing? What is that? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can do it right here on this paper, too. Like, what if we took some... Look, Rob was like, now pour clear and leave it alone. I know, I wonder what that would look like, but... Shiny this. Look, I thought about doing a geode. So let's say you just sprayed a circle in the middle. Just do just a little bit right here. And then do, like... Well, obviously that's going to be a target. Instead of being geode shaped. I know, babe. I'm just, can okay. I just play right now? Sure. Thanks, that's awesome. You know. You're awesome, babe. You're awesome, and you're awesome, and you're yeah, awesome. If you want to go round and round, if <laughs> you want to go round and round. So, y'all, 
all round and round. It's, it's Friday night. I just got paid. You just got paid? Yeah. From who? It's just whatever. Did his payment came through? No. So these charge just a little bit. And this is the other one. Check this paint out. This is awesome paint right here. This is loop. Hi, D. Right, pink. Yeah, I'll so show you all the lights some... out version later in this show. That's what I was thinking, Tiffany. It looks like if you were like under the ocean looking at the cracks. Isn't that what I just said? I couldn't hear it. I didn't hear that part. I thought you said moss. Yeah, same same difference. Moss and ice is the same? Yeah, same difference. Mm. It's exactly the same, but completely opposite of the same thing. Yeah. Hi, Shay. Thanks for watching. Anyone have suggestions for sealing forks for a four over, making a carry for my kid? I've never done it. But I've never tried to reduce some dust resin, but I'm excited to give it a shot. Look at that. That just looks... <laughs> it's, it looks like a tie-dye. Yeah. Super fun. Laura Taylor says, it looks like you're looking up at the sky and seeing a whole bunch of bats. Ooh. That's a curve. So, ready to get this pour on, Muffy? Your colors can help you anything, right? Jeffish, it is super cool. Effect, I don't know what I want to do over it. If you did like a super huge one and then just did clear over it, it would sell. <laughs> that would probably sell if we just did some, oh, yeah. um, maybe a different color or maybe just a little bit of white. Like smoke? Yeah. And he says, love y'all's banter. Sounds like me and my husband. Y'all make me laugh. I enjoy y'all. I love her too much and <clears throat> not enough sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, what do you think? What do we, should we just put some clear over it and see what it looks like? glass like that. You can get it from Stan Broyles Fire Glass. I also have a link to the Fire Glass in my Amazon store in the description box. In the description box below. Belier. Thank you so much for your patience, Dee. Jen says, hey, EMJ. Hey, y'all, everyone. Jeff just saw your murder maid geo. So rad. Murder maid. Murder maid. Murder mate. <laughs> <laughs> Something glow in the dark. Hey, Chris Hart. All right. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog, too. Not moo. What is a fire for? Timmy, we did. You just have to watch it. We just put glass on it and then you spray paint and it looks like this. What if I put the glass black over it? What's up, YTJ? Huh? Back over it and then sprayed this pink over it. I think you'll make it too God, bright. that would be so bright. I think it's gonna convolute what you got going on. Stick with the plan. Stan. Mm -hmm. All right, Ooh, let's just do, help? let's just do, well, I don't know. Should, What is wrong with Crip Coat? No? Nothing. Too much? Not enough? Babe, your observation makes me nervous. Violetta, we got them from, well, I got these in particular from our Judy. friend Judy, but you can get them from Stan Broyles' website or Amazon. I have them linked in the description box 
below this video. I want him to do one with a lace. We can we can totally do one. I just need to find the lace. It should be on the right huh? Yeah, it should. So, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint another one. Y'all, time out on the questionies. I'll be RV. What are you going to do? I'm going to do what you did, but with lace. Ah. Jeff has this sheet of lace that he uses for his airbrush client. Nope, body paint clients. And I'm just going to use that. Well, body paint and, uh, like, if I want to make a lace texture on a painting, you can use that for a little nighty night. If you want to, you're doing a boudoir portrait. Boudoir. What color is these? We'll do something bright. Do you want me to use a bright paint? I don't know if this is all going to go in there. Oh, my God, it's not. Huh? This is, like, barely going to fit in there. <laughs> it's Friday night. So, but for real, right, Pink? Oh my god. <laughs> no, white. Are you going to do. And magenta and gold. And then you're going to spray it black? Uh, That'll yes. be cute, yeah. Do that. White, magenta, and gold on the, the lace part? Yeah, white, magenta, and then gold on the outside. Oh, and the. I'm standing right in front of this vent fan. It's not on. Oh. I'm thinking. Do we have a nice white head on? I keep forgetting this is. <laughs> Let's see here. White, magenta, and gold. Yeah. I don't know if we have a magenta. I think I made enough resin. <laughs> See what this is going to look like. Let me put you guys in overhead. Maybe I should put some gold in here.
What do you think about that? I'm still trying to understand how you did your phase. You can't be bothered. Because you have to do it in sections almost. Oh my god, that's way too much resin over here. <laughs> right in the middle. You gotta have skills too, babe. Skills are, are what pays the bills. Yes. Spray paint skills. Computer hacking skills, both have skills. Bow hunting, nunchuck skills. Alright. Trying not to get my bracelet in this. This is a bracelet Laura Taylor got me. Thanks, Laura Taylor, for my bracelet. All right, give me my rag. Sorry I'm not reading that, you guys. Where's my, where's my, my gold at? Uncle, just uncle. You have <laughs> abort, mission abort. Horrible idea. I don't know how to spray. It's it's cute because I think that I give her I give her um, I praise her so much. I think she gets this false uh, what's it called? <laughs> false sense of <laughs> I can do that. Uh huh. <laughs> Will you get the gold? Should I get it or should I just leave it? What do you guys think? Add gold or leave? Idea says orange, Luna says glitter. Orange. Ideas? Luna also says silver. Okay. Angie says silver. Something not opaque. Alicia said false confidence. Yes. <laughs> Joy says he okay. got that eye roll. What about some glitter? Copper, gold, silver, gold, silver or white. Leave it gold, gold, gold. It's Eli, Kim, silver, silver, leave it. Translucent. I don't know what a translucent Babe, is. Babe, I asked you to give me the gold and you still haven't oh. gotten me the gold. Then you said no. Yeah. Not right there. It should be right here, but it's not. There it is. I just don't want this stuff to turn on me. Of course. It'll turn on me in a second. Oh no. Where's all my little Disney keys? What'd you do to them? Diamond dust. That's what I want to put in there. Well, I don't have any diamond dust. Well, what's that? Where's the ultra? The ultra. You can just like sprinkle it right on there. there, right? Yeah. How should I do this? Just do it in lines, a little thin, or just kind of. I would do swirlies because it's a circular pattern. I don't know that I would do. I'm so glad you guys sound so much like my husband and I. I love you guys. That's awesome, Anita. You got this. Add holographic glitter. Oh, yes. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Karen. I wish I could help you, Darcy, but since I was it, I don't know. It looks like there should be a photo in there. Are you going to touch it? There's such a distinct smell when it starts to... Luna says, chop it.
Yeah, it looks a lot like the top of your hat. Ooh, that's getting hot. Ew, it looks so loud. set up because that middle is so thick damn it see it mm -hmm. son of a witch cake what witch cake mm. yeah what what is a witch cake is that a thing it's it's just a my saying instead of saying a bad word Ugh. hit it with some heat don't let it hit it, hit it with the hot hat Okay, she's gonna have to add another top coat of quick coat. Let that be a lesson. Don't try to art too much with quick coat. Yeah. Oh man, that smells. It will not level out. Look at it. Well, we'll just do another flood coat. It looks good. Let's see it on camera. Looks like this. Oh, yeah. Really much like Lightling. Really much? Lightling? 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 Mm -hmm. Ling Ling? Ling Ling? Ling Ling. You forgot your bling bling. Ooh, glitter time. Glitter board. Glitter board. <laughs> If y'all haven't seen Trial and Error, it's the most retarded. That's it not is very, super smoking. It's, it's not very political, baby. Oh, yeah, that's not PC. It's the most stupid, funny. You watch it and you're like, why am I watching this? Son of a biscuit eater. See, we can't add any more blue at this time because it's mid-set. Um, but we're going to have to do a top coat of it for sure. Jeff, when you do the fade, do <laughs> you start in the middle or the outside edge? You got to have to, you have to kind of do both. Like, what you do, put your color, the center color, real big. And then take your second color and come in from... Come in from the out, like inward. Coming Shh. from the out. And then take your dark, dark. Then you have to go back in with your with this color, with the middle color. Hit it. So then it fades. It gets rid of all the overspray and the other hardcore spray. Yeah, it's so lumpy. Well, at least we know now. The glitter's going to look good when... You can't even see it. It'll look good in the sunlight. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. It's fun. It'll be for a good background. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's eating the cup. Look at hot. Mmm, smoky. Man. That sucks. That's fun. Yep. Glitter. Are you with the other one? Glitter. Thank And she says, I'm loving Jeff's sound effects. What's up, Lucy? You are not late. 
He says, I like that you're willing to experiment. Thank you, Ellen. The quick coat says, nom, nom, nom. Can I peel one of those up? So anybody sipping on a little sippy sippy tonight? What you guys what you guys sipping on? Even if you gotten drinking some home brewed tea. That was a fun little experimento. We um we throw that away. We take the glove off and show them the glow. This is so much fun. It's like a tracer. Spooky story time, kids. Here you go. You guys ready for this? You Ignite. You may want to switch to overhead. Oh, yeah, too much. There you go. Can't see it. <laughs> it's so bright. Turn the lights on, babe. Mm -hmm. Too much black. Yeah. It's too hard to see that. Oh well, we tried. <laughs> Pretty fun. All right, trash bago. Oh yeah, let's see. I see the glow. Lucy's drinking some mics. What? What? Pamela drinking that H two O. Got to stay hydrated. glow powder with regular mica. Oh, so why not? Did you, did you need me to do your fade? Yes. Let me go look at what you got over here. Or we'll show don't them. laugh. We'll show them. Why do we have to show them? They don't need to know my struggles as an artist. Like that. Well, for one, you these are three completely different <laughs> different Stop colors. Stop laughing! There. Can you just fix it? Let's see if you fix it. You want to fix it on the camera or? No, I don't think it's too much. Alright, so let's try this. This is not cute. Yes, we're about to do the lace keys. What would happen if you did a flood coat and ran ribbons of glow resin on top? It would glow. Just be careful if you do that not to mix or heat your resin up too much. Because if you do, it'll thin it out. And odds of it mixing into your flood coat, like if you do clear, 
Your glow in the dark resin will mix into the clear resin and dilute the glow. Thank you, Dean. How do you get your details to stay in the We're really not that much better today. I get cells and detail lines, then they just melt and disappear in a few minutes. Amanda, can you send me an email with a photo of what your work looks like so we can further discuss it? That could be a number of things. Your canvas may not be prepped properly, so it'll dip in the better, middle. I don't think. Your, where you have it setting up may not be level, so it could be tilting off. You could be getting your resin too hot and it'll thin the resin out, therefore making it kind of blurb about and mixed with the other colors so that takes your detail away there's a lot of different things so let's discuss yeah that's not a very very good fade but it'll do with the uh where's your lace at silver younger oh on the drying rack yes it is a gold, a hot pink, and a white. Don't we have a different, don't we have a different lace? We need some different lace anyways. Yeah. Well, this is what's gonna go down. You're gonna, spray paint is so, I don't know. This might look good, who knows? I've never tried it with spray paint. You wanna, you wanna paint it? You wanna do it? Mm -hmm. All right, so what we'll do is we'll do, I don't know, there's a lot of, what do you call it, babe? A lot of, I don't know if that's gonna look right. We'll just mist it. You're better at misting than I am. Vance says ATD after dark with a sexy lace. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to get a little can control. Would you guys like to see something like that to kind of give you an idea of what it takes to all right, you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready, what did you get? Ooh, so fancy. That fade is terrible. Thanks. I did the fade. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Awesome, Roxanne. Um, they say yes to the can control video. Hmm. So, why can you shine gold on this one? What? It is a loose canvas. Yeah, it is. You spray a little corner so you can get like a vintage. Okay. Vintage. Vignette. Vignette. I call it vintage. Because all these years I've been calling it that. So. All the gold's gone. Yeah, but you can still see it. It looks like you just wiped out the corners. Oh, I didn't want to go on the inside because then it'll really get rid of all the gold. Huh. Looks like a wallpaper out of Bordello. So, what's next, B? This is yours. Don't ask me. This is yours. I have to get a sippy. Talk to the people. Love the people. Be the people. Be one with the peoples. The perverts. I'm actually going to get that gold and I'm going to put this lace back down and spray the gold 
over this black. And that's gonna look really cool. be a fun graffiti piece. All right, so I'm going to get this gold. This ought to be interesting. Why? What are we doing? Why, why is that not up? Is, is that not... Is that, is that falling, like, dripping? Stop. All right. I'm going to put this back over it and just spray the corners where the gold was. No? Yes? Maybe? We're called ATD stoners. Alright, so check this out. This ought to be fun. Welcome to the show. I'm going to spray this gold back where the gold was. So it should be. How in the world did you line that back up? Because it's just lace and you can see it. Mm. Morning, Sharon. And it's a little off in the center, but you can't tell. Looks like a good background for a sugar skull. Yeah, you could totally do a sugar skull with this. And having the right spray can tips makes a big difference when you're trying to just lay down a little bit of paint. Mm-hmm. That looks like a Christmas gift. Put a bow on it, right? I think it's interesting. I almost wish that white was faded out, but I'm not going to get picky with it. You don't want to get picky with it? No, no getting picky with it. I'm gonna get one of my cardboard pieces to put in the back of that. What if we did this? Let's just do this. that faded out so I'm gonna fade it out put it back with gold. Jeff are there any store brand spray paints that have better tips than others? No. You have to buy you have to buy the tips separate. Everybody's stock tips come they're shitty. You can go to bombingscience.com and get uh, these spray paint tips. Ellen says, now that Jeff is finished, he's painting. <laughs> <laughs> she told me she was scared. I was. Oh, you're doing another thing? Yep. I'm gonna be finishing it. He's just helping me get my base down because he's spray paint ninja. That's I know that's not lined up. Oh you That really just did that, didn't it? Now now I don't know what 
which way these flowers go. There they go. like one of those guys on the sidewalk in, in, uh, in Mexico. Stencil artist. Whoa. Now yeah, it's a nice glow. <laughs> there you go. And then I took over. Sorry, y'all. It's in my nature. Sorry. It's okay, love. <laughs> Did you really just try this one? You're the cutest one. You're the cutest one. No. Now what are you going to do? Now what do you want me to do? <laughs> Come read this. You can start there. Thank you for helping me finish that. Bee. Watermelon. Switch. Till death. You never beat me ever and ever of clean glasses. For my next trick, I'm going to finish this without even touching a paint. But you don't know how to do it. Howdy, ATD family. Hi, Lisa Norris. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah, I do too. Ideas. I love that. That uh, ball bearing rattling around in there, that sound. It's like, it's like I love the sound of skateboarding. Like, before you do a trick, while you do a trick. After you, do, you a do a trick. Like, it's such a. When you don't do a, a trick, but see sound. a skateboard. When you see a skateboard, but it's a surfboard. 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 Did you put that on there? Oh, yeah. My, my, my doctor said, what have you been doing? Resin all over. <laughs> Lisa, I did enjoy the concert. That was a lot of fun. Um, he, uh, he put on a really good show, um, and I was kind of worried that it was going to be Rob Zombie then Manson, but it was the other way around, so I was really happy with that, because Rob Zombie, Manson just doesn't, he, he seems like he just is over it, and I don't like that. Crack me up, he like live music. Oh yeah, he they man, Rob Zombie really you, I mean it's a whole like if you see my Facebook post you'll you'll uh, you'll see the photographs. Don't don't look. funny because I've seen Disturbed probably four or five times and that's like one of my favorite bands and he like the first time it was awesome the second time and then just the third I thought maybe it was, maybe he was just you know tired that that year and he just really didn't sound good what's that 
This is the kind of Jeff was Johnny Five playing with him. This is the kind of glitter Jeff used earlier. I have it linked down in the description box under the Amazon link. Um, Same size and everything. Joe Fish Johnny Five, as in I don't, I don't know. Your friend Johnny Five? I know. I have a friend named Johnny Five. <laughs> he was a DJ. Owned a uh, a food truck. And he tried stand-up comedy, which did not go very well. I but don't we all see came him as a stand-up comic. Johnny Five, he's so, he's so silly. Like, he's so, he's a silly guy. His material just didn't, didn't work. It didn't land. Oh, that's funny. Thanks, formerly Rod. We are going to do a nail it probably tomorrow. Jeff's been looking at all the suggestions that you guys have been leaving under that post. Oh, there was, you couldn't even tell who, like, everybody in this band had crazy makeup on or costume and it was, it was crazy. Okay, gold, magenta. White. Maybe a little bit of black. No. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody asked, who asked if, if he does horror movies? Can't remember. Who asked if he did horror movies? I think it was Laura Taylor. Um, look at this. I got this on video last night. B, uh-uh. What? Can't have music. I'm not. Look at this. Hold on a second. I gotta switch it. Switch it up. Look, look, look up. who was at the concert. <laughs> As you can see. What was it, Jason, with the mask? Uh, oh, well that's how close I was. <laughs> it's so weird, it can't, it can't like pick it up. <laughs> oh boy, are we doing first concerts? All right, I'll tell you, mine was Kiss in 1979. That's all cool. Whatever. Regular. There's old Manson himself. Yeah, Michael Myers, that's what it was. I'm super sure they didn't tune in to talk about Manson. It's Friday night. They're gonna be okay. I'm not. I'm not. They asked me about the concert. I'm showing it to them. Okay. Do uh. Do you need a smack to the bottom or no? Come at me, bro. Mm So you guys, my black that I'm using is that black. It's by Stone Coat. You can get it through the link down in the description. Make sure if you order from Stone Coat, you use our code ATD to get $30 off of your $80 order. Then the white that I'm using is Just Resin Titanium White Paste. Using is Artisu Gold Paste. 
which you can find on our website. Also linked in the description. Ted Nugent is just as bad as Kiss. <laughs> Kiss was Kiss was a was a, a gimmick. I mean, they were they were they sounded terrible. They were Kiss. They were they put on a show. You know. So yeah, you can find that in the description. Might have to put more gold in that one. She rides scooters downtown. Whoa. And then for the magenta, I'm using Bombay ink in the shade Magneta, aka magenta. AKA on the magenta side. Kiss is awesome. I love Kiss. So when you use ink, it's really transparent, which I love about inks. Van Hagar, I will throw you out of this group. Year I was born. Oh God, Sweepy, that must have been on their like before. Yeah, I remember when they took off their their makeup. What's she gonna do on here, kid? No idea. I'm gonna put some wings on that butterfly floor. I know some of those like it. So, Neil Diamond, anyone? <laughs> Barry Manilow, anyone? I know there's some Barry Manilow freaks in here. Randy, I love listening to Dead Mouse. I've seen him a couple times. Dead Mouse 5? Um, <laughs> and yes, she knows she said that wrong. Um, I love, I love eating music. Dead Mouth 5 is my favorite. Wait, stop saying it like that. <laughs> what? That's how it's spelled. Sounded it out. Ideas. I saw Beastie Boys. I got to meet them. Um, Ad Rock was a D I C C. And then add the K on the end. Because um, I had some meet and greets. That's awesome, Patty. I got, uh, Ad, I got uh, Mike D's and. Uh, MCA's autograph. I mean, I'm um, trying to figure out how I should do this. What do you think? I remember very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I want to say uh, lick it up. Ew. Right? Because that's when they're like, what is that video? They have a video of it when he's, when they're all no makeup. I'm just going to go for it. Some of that black in there, huh? You, you just want to put black in your other colors? Yep. <sighs> She's like a child sometimes. Those times. Thanks, Marcy. Yeah, hit the hit them like buttons, man. Hit the like buttons. We only have 123 people watching. I guess everybody's out partying on a Friday night. Probably. She's just going for it, y'all. Mm-hmm. Give me a second to make it amazing. Thumbs up, slackers. <laughs> Get them. Watch. It's about to be amazing. Or I hope. <laughs> Yeah, come on. I need the ATV stoner shirt. Oh, yeah. ATV stoner shirt. Are we, is that? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's because um, ATV and stone coat together. Oh, yeah. I don't know if 
don't go with a crew. Right. Send it. Remember, this is this is quick so good. The hell you say? Is it? No. Oh. No, no, no. Don't go by it was funny. Oh, well, people Super chill to me. What? It'd be really fun if it wasn't on such a busy background. So. That's your cardboard idea. Shit. I know. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. I'm just gonna use it all. Ramona, mine, uh, my first, my first concert was Kiss as well. It was 1979. B, that's before I was born. Slash before I was even thought. I'm like having a hard time focusing. Cameras often have a hard time focusing on amazing things. Whatever, dude. We all have bad pores. Don't judge me. Big. Someone's gonna love it. <laughs> no sense in getting upset over spilled resin. Toki Toki. Oh, so can I go to the website and find out for the fact that you can pay for the photo and the photo and the photo and the photo? Uh, yeah, I can send you an invoice. You send me an email requesting a paid in full invoice. Yeah, you guys. I was, we were talking about this uh, a couple of weeks ago about if you think that you have a bad pour or if you're kind of feeling like maybe I don't want to do this anymore because I can't sell it, um, or feeling kind of down about, about your pours. If you live somewhere where pe there's foot, foot traffic, um, I'm getting some fun complex, cells right here. That's fun. Um, Take, take a couple pieces that you don't mind um, losing. losing, put them out on a sidewalk, put them in a hallway next to like a recycling center or the trash or something. Just put them out, leave for four or five hours, come back, and if they're gone, just know somebody will buy them. If they're still there, you might want to change up your, your, uh, your pouring. You you might even want to go to a different medium, um, switch up your colors maybe, your techniques. Yeah, ideas, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, I love artwork so much. I would, I always told myself if, if I got to the point where I had so much money that I would I would do artwork for free. I would I would just do it and 
send it to people. <laughs> like, I, I would love to be able to do that. One day, my love. I've given people discounts like crazy on artwork because I like the person, because I like their story, because... You like the image? I know that they'll take care of it. Uh, I sold a painting, one of my first paintings I sold in California at a at an airbrush convention. I, this guy thought it said 150 because the the price tag, it was hand drawn, and the money sign was right close to the first number, which was a four. So it kind of took away that little elbow, so it looked like 150 instead of 450. And he came by looking at it all day, and then finally he comes over and he asked me if I take a check. I said yes. He wrote it out for 150. And I gave him the painting because I knew that he liked it. And I knew he would take care of it. And his wife came over and noticed the sign and was like, you sold that painting to him for 150 and it says 450. And I said, well, because I know he loved it. And I know he wouldn't have bought it if it was 450. <laughs> hmm. like, I needed 150. Yeah, I didn't mind. I would love to see that painting though. <laughs> to this day. That was about 20 years ago. Should I show them my first four of my geode? All I gotta do is whip this camera around. Whip it out. All right. All right, hold on. She's gonna move this camera, so I'm gonna come over and talk to y'all. Um, right now she's going to... Uh, flip the overhead camera around and uh, show you guys what she's starting on. Stone Coat is going to be proud. Um, How's the view? It's so funny. It looks like it's about this big. Oh. <laughs> it's this big. It still looks small. <laughs> so Hold on a second. I have four layers up of caulking. So it's about an inch thick. I know it should probably be bigger, but we're going to work with what we got. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. I'll check it out. Um, it looks, it's funny because it looks like a little small coaster, but it's not. <laughs> it, I need to it's, guess. It's the size of a uh, side table. It's like a three by small three. side table. Oh, my son just walked in. I didn't want to scare off my friends here. I read a pay today and a woman said a code course aren't real large. Well she's probably not a real person. What's up? So uh, we got the whole crew. Take that hat off. <laughs> hey! Everybody say hi to my son, he's in the house. Hi. Yeah, walk with it. Your son, did you give my money? Yeah. Did you? I don't know. I did my family since then. Okay. Well, she has to do a little demo. They're over there. I put some white. A little, made a little arty. Okay. Is she on your slipper now? Be careful. And I, I need to paint the back or something, too. And you Very arty. Hey, he's a badass. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Ain't no pressing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Demonetize? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah I, I... Dang, these are sick. Alright. What colors did we decide we're doing this? I have no idea. Ian e and Jake, how did Jeff the that? sculpture... Are y'all doing that tonight? Huh? Are y'all doing that? I'm filling the base of it. Well, she tried to bend it today, Kate, and she broke it. And yes. Oh, it just cracked a little bit. And she cracked it. Yeah? All right, well, what did she get this memo or no? Check the phone. I don't have a phone. Check my phone. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been about him and he's paid out. Hey, pal. I didn't know you had a memo. Oh, you received $60 right on. There you go. Well, I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, man. Thank you. See you, later. you don't want to paint the back of them? No, okay. they're good. Okay. They're All good. Right. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me 
getting some coasters today, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yo. What colors do you think? I'm still thinking the black and silver because that's universal, like, goes with anybody. I don't know. I love those bright colors. I love the whites and the pearls and those magenta and purple. So, white, gold, and magenta? I would do a dark, like, do that center dark and it bleed out to that magenta. Do I do purple? It? No, I don't. That's yours. What do you mean, do I want to do it? Babe, hey, I gotta read. <laughs> Let the fetish begin. What? What? Oh. Do not speak English. What the? F I don't know. Browns and reds. You a retro one. I don't know. Black and gold. Black, blue, and gold. Go all neutral. I don't know. Neutral is. I'm not a fan neutral of neutral. Neutral orange. I hate it when girls wear those neutral shoes. Those nude shoes are so unattractive to me. What about us? No, those neutral. Neutral shoes. The color neutral. Mm. I don't know anything about that. Is there a difference? No. So, okay, y'all. So. It has come to my attention from my experience with geodes that it really doesn't matter what your first two layers are because ultimately they get covered up as you go, you know? Like, it doesn't, you can't, you never see it. So it's like pointless. So what I'm gonna do is basically a solid color first layer and then I'll finish it out tomorrow. I'm gonna to do this first layer with Idea set brown regular green. He wants me to waste all of what I have there. <laughs> Copper, magenta, and white. A bright ombre. See, that's what I say, Marcy. I wanna see a ombre. I wanna see a dark, real deep, like make a deep purple, fade it out to some crazy magenta with some pearl. White, ooh, that would look so amazing. These lines and the another fade. I don't know, man. I'm really bad with color. I don't know why you're even talking to me about it. I kind of just oh, you're like. Do it right now? Huh? I'm doing my first layer, yeah. Wow. Roz? With three of these, what is your base material? Oh, ugh. I have a, I just cut myself. I have a video on it. You put that in the trash. I have a video on it, but basically this is a masonite board. And I use like Tyvek tape for this Can part. you guys hear her okay? And then silicone for my walls. Awesome. Thanks, guys. There she is in her glory. I love the edges. That looks like a real geode. I, I made the lines a little bit too squiggly. And I made this hole too big. I made the whole thing too small. <laughs> it's too big and too small at the same time. We need more and less blankets. Four cups or 
32 ounces. Maybe not that much. That's scary. Tiffany, she's gonna start a side a side table geode. Maybe 24 ounces, just to start. Hope y'all don't mind, I'm starting this video in the middle of another video, or the end of another video. I lied, I'm gonna go for the 32 ounces. Um, Crystal, we, we're gonna probably put that in, uh, in our dust-free zone. That'll fit in our dust-free zone, right? Yeah, it's the biggest size we can put in there. Hopefully that'll fit. That's what he said. Whoa. Hi from bipolar weather. Oh, Kate, you want to see the big peel one. Ah. Hold, please. I shall keep it. All right, now we got our 32 ounces in here. I am using um, the regular art coat for my base because I'm not really trying to make it hold any particular lines. I really am only doing this thick base layer to have that depth. I will do the next few layers with the quick coat. Posted a video of it. I still need to finish the back, the bottom of it. But I put these little lights just in the center, just for like a little decoration. So I need to finish the edges. It's kind of hard to see, I'm sure. But there she is in all her glory. I'm gonna put gold on the edges. Should be fun. I'm torn between adding some that black into the base or just using ink. What do you think? Uh, whatever, whatever you think is awesome. I don't know what I think is awesome. That's why I was asking you what I think is awesome. don't use silicone. Um, some people use cornstarch, some people use um, Dawn dish soap. I would recommend doing both and 91% alcohol because better safe than sorry when you're messing with silicone. Maybe she's doing geo yoga. <laughs> Yeah. 
and it's not. It's going to be a freeform geode. It's going to be its own base. I'm going to see if it's strong enough to withhold itself. Dang it. Typically when you're using resin, you want to get it out of your big bucket as soon as possible in order to extend your working time, but since I'm doing a geode, I don't really care if it's thickening up on me like this. Well, it's not really yet because it's art resin. Nope, art coat from Stone Coat. not to your resin, or are you talking about just to your acrylic? Yeah, I might just should do the base of this all clear. So now I'm going to add a little bit of this platinum from Just Resin. I was going to originally just do a completely clear base coat, but I always change my mind mid-project. But I still stand by the fact that you're probably not going to see any of what I'm doing on this layer by the time we get to the final layer. I think we've used this platinum before. It looks really nice. Probably can't see it, but it looks like this. Good. Now I'm going to use a little bit of that black base from Stone Coat. I'm I've got about six ounces, and I'm just going to add a little bit of this colorant because I don't really want it to be that opaque. And that paint will thin it out. Do you need the heat gun? Not yet. I'm just going to heat it at the end of it. Well, I said I didn't want an opaque. Whoops.
Are they asking any questions? No, they're just talking about the silicone stuff. Barbara L said that might be something E and J could test could test for us. Putting silicone in rhythm? Yeah. And I know the artists would like to taste feedback and stop. I was, I just had a package clear customs yesterday, so any day hopefully. So I know this looks pretty plain Jane now. I'm not adding any textures or glitters or anything like that just yet. And I want to make sure that I have a lot of this clear showing because in certain parts of the table, I want it to be straight through. And I'm thinking about adding a row of lights through this part as well. We're gonna have to play that one by ear. We'll see. Hello, Sandy. How are you? Will you actually, will you bring me that heat gun? Somebody has to tweet. Just like if you could slide it under the, or will it reach all the way around? Mm -mm. Yeah, we don't need to. I was just kind of. Since this like layer won't be that visible, I'm just gonna play around with pushing these colors.
I find interesting about geodes is that you can really make them whatever you want them to be because ultimately none of them are perfect anything. And so when people get caught up on shape or and not looking a certain way, I like to remind them that no two are alike. It really doesn't matter what anybody thinks about your piece. to get back with you on that. Yeah, I know you mentioned before, what is the thickness is the vinyl you use? 30 mil. 30 mil. That's what it was initially supposed to be, but I've had reports that um, it'll just take 30 off of 80 as long as there's $80 in your shopping cart. is like right above your head so be careful. Thank you. Um, it depends on the kind of resin you use. With casting resin, you can pour thicker than, I don't know, I had this much black left. Um, sorry, with casting resin, you can pour thicker than with art resins because it was kind of made for that and it'll more easily express the bubbles. I think most casting resins will give you like, how much was it, like three inches? Mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't go that that hard in the paint with um, just an art resin. 
Are you gonna like blow that and make fun stuff? Or are you gonna leave it just black? Well, I'm not gonna be able to really see it, so I was just playing with how this looks. Like, I can do stuff, but you're not gonna be able to tell what it is after the top layers. I would fade all that. I don't know. Into the gray and silver. I want to have some clear. Yeah. So it looks all the way through. That's I still nice. have two thirds of it, an inch. Like 32 ounces I, I poured out. Wow. I know. And it's like an eighth of an inch thick. Mm hmm So I'm going to wipe off my handy dandy stir sticks so that I can reuse them manana. We're just using a 90. You need to hit all this unless that's just dirt. What? There's like air bubbles all over over here. Much better. Look at that. Yeah, that's great. Cause you, you put that, you put, uh, you put that silver and didn't hit it with the. All in here. Like that whole I layer. Do. I don't see anything else popping. I don't know why it's so bubbly. I think it's just the texture of the color. Also, this isn't a top layer. Mm -hmm. Super pumped about how it's gonna turn out though. Sorry about my runny nose, y'all. Yeah. resin on top of a dried layer of resin, like if you wanted to sandwich something in between the layers. If yeah. you can, um, if you want, you can sand it. Uh, you can sand it with like a, a 400, just to lightly give it some tack so that you know that it's definitely going to adhere to that, to the first layer. Um, and you can put, I don't know, I guess you're wanting probably to put some pictures or a little texture in there or something, but you can you can sure do that. All right, let me switch it around. Let me show them the other pieces from last night. Hold on a second, y'all. We're gonna. Yep, a little higher. Swing you around. Hopefully it won't make you too dizzy. Bring it around, bring it Look, around. Look, do you see that on the floor? This is how fun this is. I 
I put it there and people always go, oh my God, what happened? You spilled all your resin. Because <laughs> it looks like it's spilled resin. So, don't you hiss at me, sir. So, there's this one. Set up ultra beautiful. Then there was this one, also ultra fancy, ultra, ultra beautiful. It will be part of our upcoming auctions. a little bit low. I'm super orange, but it's all right because we're not going to be on here much longer anyway. So you guys, no. Mm -mm. It's just all, it's probably because of these overhead. Oh yeah. Night Lisa. So that's what we're up to today and I, I know, I'm <laughs> just a ghost. What? Oh, I think it's because we had all those lights on. I said, um, um, so tomorrow I'm going to do the next layer in that geode side table and so, hold on, I'm just going to, I've got to fix that. I don't know why you, because we're here long enough to say goodbye. They want to see your face. No, they don't. It's gross today. Night, Lisa. Sorry, y'all. That was terrible. But you can still talk to him. Talk to him, babe. Talk to him. You're gonna lose him. You're losing him. They're all going to bed. You're losing them! Night, Alicia. Night, you're Chris just, Hart. You're just too white. I know that. You're just too damn white. Babe. I don't know what to do to fix it. I'm just the palest one. Maybe if I just scoop really close to the... Yeah, it's better now. So, y'all, um, tomorrow we're going to do... Are we going to do the Nailed It tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? For sure tomorrow, I'm going to do the next layer of the geode, and I'm super excited about it. It will be a design layer, and I want to give Perfetto Paints another try, because I think I, it was Operator Error last time I tried them, and so... No, the scratches, if I stay in a dry layer of resin, wouldn't it make scratches? No, uh, if you use 400, it's super fine grit, and the resin will fill them in, and undetectable. Um, I know, I love Perfetto. I just need to do another test with them. I also have some tints from them I need to try out. So we are going to have an auction coming up. We've got coasters, we've got paintings. Because we've got two trips coming up that we need to sell a whole bunch of artwork for. Stay tuned for when that is. I would love for you guys to join our Facebook group, which is ATD's Poor People. What moon? Come up here and say hi. Come here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you going to come up here and say hi? No? Cool. Um, You are welcome, Barbara, anytime. So... I forgot what I was saying. Can you come up here? I knew you did. I knew you 
did. Um, we are pre-uploading all the color obsession paints right now to the website, so you'll be able to order those by Monday at the latest. We'll have them live on the website. If you join the ATD's Poor People Facebook group, which is right here, join, 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 then you will be the first to know when the only U.S. supplier of Color Obsession has paints live. Um, I don't even know what else other than check out all these things. Check out our website for info on the classes, the stir sticks, Artist Sue, Color Obsession, Just Resin, Stop. And mystery boxes and things like that. Also, if you have a question, shoot us an email at thornatartistsell.com, two T's, two L's. And if you want some merch, check us out right here on Teespring. All of this stuff is down in the description box below. If you would like to send Cujo a small painting for his gallery, this is our shipping address, 1409 South Lamar Street, Dallas, Texas, 75215. We love you all so, so much. Be kind to one another. We will see you all manana. Bye. I said bye. <laughs>